Welcome back to my channel, I'm that Scottish nerd that brings you Pokemon trading card game videos as well as gaming and entertainment related content. If any of that interests you, be sure to subscribe down below as I do upload multiple times a week. In today's video we're taking a look at a Charizard deck which is great for destroying some of those big top tier decks as you're able to hit really big numbers. So we'll be looking at the deck as well as some matches with it timestamps down below in the description as always. Starting off the deck profile here we have the Charizard which I did go over the theme deck that this was built around so if you've not checked that out I'll briefly discuss the card here. It has 170 hit points so it's very good for a stage 2 Pokemon and it has this great ability Battle Sense allowing us to look at the top 3 cards of our deck, pick one of those cards and then discard the other two. So this is going to combo nicely with our attack, Royal Blaze, which does 100 damage for 2 fire energy, but it does an additional 50 damage for each of our Leon in the discard pile. So using that battle sense ability we're able to search out cards that are going to be useful to us, while also discarding things like Leon and thinning out the deck that way. So we're running a full 4 count of the Charizard, 424 line so that we have a nice consistent way to evolve into it and we've paired that with another stage 2 Pokemon but it's not going to be a huge big deal because this actually helps our consistency rather than hinders it. That is Inteleon with Shady Dealings. This ability allows you to search your deck for two trainer cards when you evolve into the Inteleon. Now this is going to be great for getting cards like Rare Candy, Quick Ball, Pokemon Communication, that type of thing, so that we can get our Charizard set up nice and quickly. But we also have the same ability on the Drizzle, but unfortunately this only allows you to get one trainer card. But that's perfectly fine since the turn that you're going to be putting this into play, you're most likely wanting to get the Rare Candy for the Charizard anyway, so it's no big deal. So we have a 2-2 line of the Inteleon, all the way through so that it's nice and consistent and to help our consistency we have a couple of supporting Pokemon here in the Talonflame this is a V Pokemon so you don't always want to be picking it down in every matchup but it can be useful with that fast flight attack for one energy allowing us to use it on the first turn and we discard our hand and draw six cards now this is going to be great for getting set up but even if you don't go first and you want to use this on your first turn going second, this is still a great option and it also has a decent attack as you're able to do 160 damage for 3 energy. So if you attach one and then welder onto it, you can start hitting for 160 which covers the early game nicely since Charizard doesn't do a huge amount of damage. Plus the Talonflame has free retreat so what more could you ask for? Now we also have another supporting Pokemon in Jirachi here, the Amazing Rare, as its ability allows us to just straight up draw a card. Now we do get to look at the top of the card and pick which one we draw with Dreamy Revelation here. So that is nice, but mostly you're just going to be drawing a card and helping to go through your deck a little bit quicker. And you do have free movement with the Jirachi as well, since we're playing two copies of the Air Balloon here. And just slapping this on a Jirachi or anything else we need to get out of the active is going to be a very good utility for us indeed. Going through the supporter cards here, we are of course playing four copies of Welder. Since we're a fire based deck, we might as well play the Welder. We are attacking for two energy, so the Welder is going to allow us to get those energy to play, as well as manually attach one anywhere else that we want to put an energy. We're also playing four copies of Professor's Research. Great discard and draw. We're also playing the Leon as mentioned. This is crucial for the deck to function and when you play the Leon you're able to do an additional 30 damage. Most of the time you're just going to be discarding this with Professor's Research, Battle Sense, Quick Ball, all of those. And for the most part, if you do want to be playing down the Leon, it's going to be the fourth Leon that you put down so that you can hit for 330 damage. And that can sometimes be the difference maker to hit a VMAX for the one hit knockout. But generally speaking, you're going to be doing 250 to 300 damage for the most part. And the final supporter we do have here is a Brox Grit. I love this artwork on the Brox Grit, it's my favourite, as the effect on it is just 
phenomenal as well as it allows us to recycle a bunch of Pokemon and energy cards from our discard pile back into the deck so in that late game we're able to reuse our Charizards. And for the rest of the trainer cards here you can see it is all about consistency, full play sets of Fair Candy, Quick Ball and Pokemon Communication so that we can search out our Pokemon and evolve nice and easily. We also have a copy of Ordinary Rod and Palpad so that we can again recycle our different utility cards whether that be shuffling in Charizards and Energy or with Palpad getting us back things like Welder or even Brock's Grip or a single Leon if we want to do additional damage. And we also have the scoop up nets here if we want to bring up a Charizard if it didn't get one hit knocked out or if we're going to be mainly reusing the Inteleon and Drizzle, we can constantly reuse it with this scoop up net. So finally we have the giant hearth here, this is going to allow us to search out some energy and attach them with our welder. Great to thin out the deck as well and make the deck as consistent as possible. So that is something that you will find with this deck if you go and play it or when we're about to get into the matches here. It is very consistent and certainly messing around with some of the counts of cards is going to be interesting. And let me know your thoughts on the deck down in the comments below. I do always try to respond to all of the comments. So let's get into some matches here and see how we get on. Alright, hey, let's kick it off here and see what we're up against. Looks like we have a Waylord facing us down, so we are weak to water. That's going to be a bit of a problem. But we have the Pokemon Communication to open it up with. And honestly, I think we might just get Talonflame here and discard this hand. As much as I want to get a Charmander down, getting rid of this hand is going to be more beneficial for us. So we'll attach an energy to the Talonflame use Dreamy Revelation. We do get the Quick Ball which is excellent so we can get the Charmander down as well and also being able to discard a Leon early on is great news. So we get the Charmander, we have the Scoop Up Net, so we're going to scoop up the Jirachi, put Talonflame in the active, put Jirachi back down and use Fast Flight, able to discard the one Fire Energy and then draw six cards very good start to the game and that's definitely what, what you want to see when you're going first. We get a good selection of cards here in Charmeleon, we get Rare Candy, Quick Ball, we have a whole bunch of great cards actually. So my opponent has a decent start, they hit us with the Marnie, so unfortunately that fast flight is going to waste a little bit, but at least we're going to get a fresh set of cards. This is definitely not as good as what we had there a moment ago. And we may even have to go into the Jirachi here. You never know, we might be able to get a Charizard off the top. Let's see. Okay, we get a Drizzle. We can work with that. Uh, wait, well, let's see what we can get. We could get a Professor's Research here. I think that will be the best bet, although we would be losing a Rare Candy if we do so. Although we could also Pokemon Communication put the Drizzle onto the deck and get Charizard, which I kind of like. So we'll go with that instead, and that means that we're not going to be wasting a rare candy. And also means that we have Battle Sense at our disposal, so we can get cards that way. So my opponent didn't have a great start, they would have liked to have discarded some water energy for sure. I think we'll attach this air balloon to the Jirachi so it has free retreat. We will battle sense, see what we can get into. Uh, that is unfortunate. We don't get a huge selection of good cards. We do have the Drizzle that we could take and potentially get something, I suppose. Uh, I think we will go with that. So we'll grab the Drizzle. We are losing a rare candy there as well as another fire energy. We'll go into the Drizzle and search our deck, see what we can get here. I think going with a quick ball, discarding the Leon could be a good shout. And alternatively we could go Professor's Research, but I think we're going to use a fast flight here anyway. Although the Professor's Research would net us more cards overall. So we'll go with the Research here. That's the great thing about 
the shady dealings is that you're able to get any trainer card out of your deck including the supporter cards that you need. So we get a reasonable selection of cards here. I think we're definitely going to use quick ball since we got that. And we're not really going to need the scoop up net so I'm tempted to discard that and certainly keeping the professor's research around for the following turn. Definitely want to keep giant hearth as well so we'll discard the scoop up net here. Get ourselves the second Charmander down so we can evolve into Charizard soon. Also want to hold on to this uh, giant hearth I think since we don't really have a means of discarding any of these cards but getting rid of the Charmeleon I suppose is going to be the best bet and we have the rare candy so you never know we might might get lucky off of something here get these two fire energy attach one to the Charizard then we're also going to retreat since I don't want to be discarding these cards so we'll retreat into the Jirachi Grooming Revelation, see what we can grab. We do get the Inteleon, so I think Inteleon could be useful, although it doesn't allow us to search for any Pokemon, unfortunately. It could get us into something like a Welder, and Pokemon communication is useless, so we'll definitely draw into the Inteleon for the, the following turn. And we are going to get the Pokemon communication coming up anyway. So we could always turn it into a Charizard this coming turn, unless of course my opponent plays another Marnie. They have a Switch, so let's see what they go into. They have this Marshadow just to switch out since it has the Air Balloon, and of course they can always use it to discard a Stadium card. That would be a little annoying, but since we already have one energy down on Charizard, we can always just attach the other one manually and certainly we should be getting into things like Welder in the next coming turns here. To get down the Gloomwood Tangle so that it can potentially flip some extra heads when they do attack with the Waylord. And they're just going to be using that first attack which gets energy from the discard pile onto itself. So as we knew we were getting, we get the Pokemon communication and definitely just going to get the Charizard here. Don't want to be wasting any more rare candy. And since Charizard is our attacker, we do want to be getting those into play consistently. So we'll get down the Charizard and also attach an energy. I think we're going to want to use this Ordinary Rod before we research for sure. We do have two Leon in the discard pile. We'll want to be trying to get into some more of those. And I also, of course, need to use the Dreamy Revelation before we research or Ordinary Rod. And we can Ordinary Rod here, shuffling both, no reason not to. We get the Charmeleon as well as some Fire Energy back into the deck. And then we can use Professor's Research here. See what we draw into. Hopefully a way to discard Leon, unfortunately we don't get that. We do have our Battle Sense, so I'll make use of one of those. I think getting the Quick Ball so that we can discard Leon. Let's have a look at this Waylord. It has a Cape of Toughness, so it has a total of 330 hit points, which is very scary for sure. And since we only have two Leon in the discard pile, we're only hitting for 200 damage at the moment. We do really need to find that third Leon. So I'm going to have to quit ball away Leon here. Check to see if Leon is in deck. It is there, so we could potentially find it off of the battle sense. We'll get this Charmander down so that we can potentially evolve that. And we're gonna go here. We don't get into the Leon, so that is a bit unfortunate. We do get the Charmeleon, so I'm gonna have to take that for now. And we always have the Inteleon for the following turn, but don't think we really need it at the moment since there's nothing that we can take off of it and also going in and swinging doesn't seem too great either so I think holding on to this hand is going to be better than anything else at the moment and uh, we could just pass it over to our opponent I think uh, trying to see what other things that we can do we can't play down a Leon since we've already played a supporter so yeah we'll just pass it over to my opponent Let's hope that they don't have a boss's orders that would be crippling for us right now. 
and hopefully they just t take a knockout on the Jirachi. That will be the best case scenario. They have a capacious bucket, allowing them to search for two energy, and they hit us with a Marnie again. That is very unfortunate as we had a nice hand building up there. But we should be able to get into a Leon here, which we do. We get the Leon and Giant Hearth, which is exactly what I was looking for. So we'll be able to start attaching some more energy and also play down the Leon, which will allow us to hit for that magic 330 damage. My opponent is using the Frost Moth to attach some more water energy onto their bench water Pokemon and they hit us with the attack flipping two heads so they're dealing 240 damage. And since we are weak to water they should be having no issue in knocking us out but as I say we have the knockout here on this first Waylord. We can promote the Talonflame since it has free retreat and also attach an energy to our benched and we don't really need to do too much here since I mentioned we have the Leon we're going to want to play that down and we'll, we'll retreat into a Recharizard. Don't want to use Battle Sense since we don't really want to discard any crucial cards and we'll hit them with the Royal Blaze dealing the exact numbers for the knockout 330 damage. With 4 Leon in the discard pile we are dealing 300 damage and then there's a Leon that we played down dealing that additional 30 to get the knockout on the Waylord very nicely. So if my opponent doesn't have another Cape of Toughness, we will be able to get a one-hit knockout on a Willard if they promote that. So they'll definitely want to be trying to dig for that Cape of Toughness for sure. If my opponent does get that, we will have no choice but to hit into them. And let's have a look here in our discard pile. We haven't played Pal Pad just yet, so we do have the option of going and getting a pal pad at some point and shuffling Leon in and that would allow us to hit us for 300 but we are in luck my opponent doesn't have the cape of toughness so we will be able to just attach an energy here and get a knockout nice and easily getting the Brock's grit is a very good pickup as well so we'll definitely be making use of Brock's grit here shuffling in the Charizard as well as a bunch of energy so grab those Definitely want to make sure that our deck is full of energy cards and we can even make use of the scoop up net here to pick up the drizzle here and we can make use of that on the following turn. And I think that's everything that we want to do here. We can always shuffle in as well. I think we will do that so that we can work towards a Charizard in this coming turn. So we'll shuffle in the drizzle and grab the Charmeleon which is here. And then we have the Welder as well for the following turn to get those energy into play. So all that's left to do is retreat and hit with the Royal Blaze, get a nice easy knockout for 300 damage on the big Waylord. Get another two prizes, let's see what we get here. Get a Quick Ball and we get another Welder. Perfectly fine pickups, we have the Hearth and Welder for the following turn, that's all we really need at the moment. And since we got that Charmeleon down, we're not worried whatsoever if our Charizard goes down, as we should be able to find a Charizard, and my opponent scoops it up. They know that they're not going to be able to keep up in the resource race. And we get a nice easy win against that Waylord deck. Let's get into another match here. Starting off the second match here, we do have to start with a Sobble in the active spot, unfortunately. But we do have a Charmander to back it up at the very least. Now we don't actually get an energy, or I would have loved to get a, a Talonflame down, that would have been good. But we can at least Pokemon Communication here and have a look through the deck and see what we can get. We have the Jirachi, which I'm going to grab just to get that extra bit of draw. Or we could always go for the Charmander, get a second Charmander down as well. That would be nice. We have all of our Leons available to us, you always want to check that. We also have Ever Brock's Grit, but I think yeah, I'm just going to go with the Charmander play here. Get that down and then pass it over to my opponent. They have the Mobile here in the active spot, so my guess is that they're playing ADP 
or the Lucario and Melmetal deck. Either of which should not be a problem for Charizard, seeing as we will be hitting those decks for a weakness and be able to take easy one-hit knockouts on all of their Pokemon. Now we see a Deddy change from my opponent and they are using the Quick Ball for ADP, so it is in fact ADP session. And they get the switch, but they miss the turn 1 GX attack, so that's great. We're going to have a, another turn of being able to play out our hand. We get the quick ball here, so we can definitely make use of that. A consideration that you could certainly make for the deck is putting Oranguru into the deck. That would allow you to protect the likes of the Palpad here, or any other useful cards that you might want to keep around before you use Professor's Research. But we do get into some Rare Candy and we also get the Inteleon. So we could Rare Candy into Inteleon here and that seems like a reasonable route to go with. We also have the Charmeleon and the Drizzile as well. So I think I will actually Rare Candy first of all. We will go into the Inteleon and then we can use that to get two trainer cards out of the deck. First one being Pokemon Communication so that we can get a different Pokemon. And we'll also grab ourselves a Professor's Research. Two very good cards there. And we'll use our Pokemon Communication, put the Charmeleon back into the deck. And we'll grab ourselves the Charizard. Then with the second Rare Candy we can go Charizard and that's a turn 2 Charizard, nice and consistent for you getting that into play. We can also scoop up Net to bring the Inteleon back into our hand, putting the Jirachi into the active spot and putting Sobble back down and since we have the Drizzile and Inteleon in our hand we can make use of the Drizzile on this following turn. I'm also going to Battle Sense here to see if we can get into anything useful. We do get the Giant Hearth, so I'm definitely going to take that. We can make use of it to see if we can get some Fire Energy onto our Pokemon. And seeing as we have the Jirachi in the active spot, we'll definitely Dreamy Revelation. We get ourselves a Charmeleon, so we can use that to evolve into. Now, we are only going to be able to evolve into the Drizzile on this following turn, so it makes sense to get rid of the Inteleon, since we would be discarding it anyway with the Professor's Research. So we'll use that to make use of the Giant Hearth, getting two energy, and attaching one and passing it over to my opponent to see what they have for us. We're looking in a very good spot for this following turn. Well, my opponent will most likely use their GX attack, we would be able to combat that quite effectively. But instead, my opponent is looking like they have a dead hand completely, just going with that intrepid sword and not being able to do anything else whatsoever. That puts us in an excellent position here as we can attach an energy, attaching our air balloon. And we don't want to put down this talon flame to give my opponent some extra prizes. So we will definitely make use of the Drizzle here and search your deck for a trainer card. I think either a Quick Ball or a Pokemon Communication is going to be the best bet here. Or even getting a Leon as well, that would be a great card to put in the discard pile. And having a look at the Pokemon that we have available to us, I think putting a Leon in our discard pile is going to be the best bet actually since we need those in the discard pile. We'll go with a Professor's Research to discard our hands here. We get into a second Charizard, which is very good. And we have the uh, Inteleon here, so we can use that for the following turn. Or we could always Pokemon Communication it away at the moment. For now, let's go with the Pokemon Communication. We'll put the Inteleon back into the deck and get ourselves a different Pokemon instead. Then we'll go with the Sobble. Now we don't have any more Charmander unfortunately so that is something that we're gonna have to try and get a hold of. And we have the Brot's Grit and Ornery Rod available to us. 
So definitely getting those out with the likes of our shady dealings in these coming turns is going to be crucial. We can use the Jirachi. And speaking of those Pokemon, we have it right there. So we can use that on the following turn. Uh, there's not really too much else that we need to do here. I think we could scoop up Net, I suppose, to bring the Drizzle back into the hand. So we'll go with that. That will allow us to put both of the Drizzle down on this coming turn. And we can even Giant Hearth here. We can discard this Air Balloon since we're not going to need it, I don't feel. Search your deck for two energy and get one of those attached on the following turn. Or even make use of Welder. And I don't think we need to battle sense, do we? I mean, let's see how many Leon we have here. We have two Leon. We could battle sense, I suppose, and try our luck at hitting a Leon. So let's go with a battle sense. We unfortunately don't get one, but we'll have to take this rare candy. And then we can battle sense again, thin the deck even further. Hopefully hit Leon, we have one. And we'll definitely take that ordinary rod. Certainly going to make use of that to recycle some of our resources. Uh, question is, do we want to use it just yet? We certainly could put in that Charmander and Charizard, that would be useful. And we have an energy in there also, so putting those back in it could be useful, but I think we're going to hold off on it just for another turn. And we will just go with the Royal Blaze here. Unfortunately not doing enough damage, only 250, as we weren't able to hit that last Leon. And that would have been great if we'd been able to hit for the 300 damage there and get a knockout on the ADP. But seeing as they are a turn behind and they didn't get the GX attack off on that last turn, we should be primed here to just roll through our opponent. Now they did get the Tool Scrapper which got rid of our Air Balloon and we're now out of Air Balloon so we won't be able to go into the Jirachi very effectively but since we have our setup with our double Charizard it shouldn't be too much of a problem just yet. It looks like my opponent has abandoned the prospect of using the GX attack and has just switched into the Zacian instead. And we we'll can quite happily put up a Charizard here since we have the Welder and Double Fire Energy in our hand. I have no issue with that whatsoever. So we'll, first of all, I think actually before we do that we'll use our Ordinary Rod and shuffle in some of our Pokemon and Energy. Definitely get a, get a couple of Charmander back I think or we could get one of each. Certainly want some more Charizards so we'll get one Charmander and one Charizard, as well as putting some energy back in the deck. Then we can go with the Quick Ball after the Drizzles here. So we'll Drizzle, Shady Dealings, we'll grab the Pokemon Communication, that seems pretty good. Or even getting the Leon here so we can discard it with Quick Ball. I think we can get that with the second Drizzle. We'll grab Pokemon Communication first, go into the Drizzle, take that, take the Quick Ball. We messed up, we didn't take the Leon. Ah oh dear, that's fine. We can Quick Ball away the Inteleon, we're not going to be needing that right now. Get ourselves a Charmander and we can hold this since we don't actually have any more basic Pokemon. We can Welder onto the active, attach these to Fire Energy, see what we draw into. We get a Brock's Grip which is good for the following turn and we can attach here. Also making use of a Giant Hearth could be nice but we don't really need to dig for it too much at the moment so I'd like to keep the Pokecom around just in case we get into a Pokemon off the top deck or even off of these prizes. So we'll just go with the Royal Blaze for 500 damage since we are really hitting for weakness on that Zacian. And we'll get our prizes, we get our other, the fourth Charmander that was sitting in the prizes as well as an energy card which is very good. So hope my opponent brings up the ADP and attaches to it. So perhaps now they're looking to get the GX attack off. It has been a very rough and rocky start for my opponent. 
that's definitely going to be in our favour. They're putting down yet another support Pokemon, so really clogging up their bench. They go with a Pokemon Catcher, trying to flip ahead, but they get Tails. Not that it would have made much of a difference. And let's see here, they have a Marnie in store for us, shuffling our hand into the bottom of our deck and losing those two rare candy that we had along with the Brock's Grit. So that is a bit unfortunate, but at the very least we do get into a Welder and a Professor's Research that we can make use of. And my opponent is just going with that GX attack so we can easily get the knockout with the Charizard that we have already in the active spot. We also drew it into the Leon, which is a reasonable pickup. And we have the Battle Sense at our disposal, although seeing as we only have 10 cards left in our deck, I don't think Battle Sense is going to be doing us any favours. So we can just welder onto our Charmander, and we do get into the Charmeleon, so we can just evolve up with this very slowly, but it works out. And we can Royal Blaze for the knockout, only needing to do 50 damage, but... We are doing well more than that and taking three more prize cards. There's really no hope for my opponent at this point, seeing as once they take a knockout, they will be able to take two prize cards. But we have the Charizards in our hand, ready to get a knockout on whatever my opponent promotes. Ooh. From the looks of it, they are going to try and attack with the Mobile GX here. Putting down yet another Crobat to draw cards, really trying to dig through their deck. To get something that they can make use of here but they're just not able to keep up after they have fallen behind so early on in the game as well. We get an energy attachment onto the mobile and we'll most likely be seeing a attack here for the knockout or at least attempting the knockout. We see a professor's research discarding the hand and drawing seven additional cards my opponent also going down to a very low deck size of only 3 cards, but they are able to get that exact knockout dealing 170 damage. And as I mentioned, we have the Charizard in our hand already, as well as the Leon, and given that my opponent is weak to fire as well, everything is stacked against them here. So we can play the Leon out for the sake of it, and of course my opponent concedes as they have lost the game. Two excellent games from Charizard and Inteleon here, really showing off the consistency and power of the deck. So let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments section and leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.